What's up, y'all? It's Rock Common. Today I'm bringing y'all a ranked match. I'm, take, I'm taking on the Green Bay Packers as I chose the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, this is a highly contested game, an awesome game. goes down to the wire. And then uh, a, <laughs> the a second part of it is it's just the, my defensive drive on a ranked match I played right after this. I ended up uh, beating the guy the second game. But uh, this this drive is just ridiculous. <laughs> so Madden Biesa is finest. And so I, I just had to throw that in there. Um so so yeah so this is this commentary is mainly about the struggles of Madden and how the the flow the flow of Madden can just not go your way on certain days like some days you just don't have it uh, you, you don't execute well and it's not your scheme that you need to change and try to upheaval upheaval the the whole your whole scheme but just it's all about execution and and reading what your opponent's doing and and this night I think I played three ranked matches just played a few probably about a week ago actually. Uh, I think I played like three ranked matches this game, and just nothing would go <laughs> would go my way. Uh, I, I ended up winning two of them and and losing one of them, but it was just I don't know. It was just the Madden God just wasn't with me that night with uh with some with some of the with some of the stuff, and it's kind of how Madden Madden goes uh, this year, and just like most years, there's a lot of a lot of luck involved, and it's all about ex execution at the end of the fourth quarter whenever you play against tough competition and when you play people that are equal with you no matter what level you're at and it just go and same thing in real life it's all about execution and executing your game plan <coughs> and kind of reading what when you're on offense what the what your opponent is trying to do to you to force you into mistakes or or sack you or play you know all out coverage defense there's all different types of tactics in in Madden and you just you have to you have to practice and, and figure out how to how to how to get around what they're trying to do and make them adjust. And so, like, if someone's playing all-out coverage defense, you know, a, a good thing to do is get in a running formation, make them get out of that all-out coverage defense, make them feel like they have to blitz people or do something to stop your to stop your run. And uh, and then you can also pass out of those running formations. That's that's another good way to keep people out of coverage defense and uh, and and still be able to pass the ball. People ask me all that kind of all these questions all the time and like. What beats the blitz? You know, everyone knows the FL screen is the is the best uh, blitz beater. Now look at that. That was just a mistake. Not executing. I had what I wanted inside the position with one of my receivers, but just didn't make the right the right uh, the right read. You know, and so just another poor execution and gave away seven points instead of me going up twenty one fourteen and ending the half. Uh, just wasting time to you know either go up seventeen or twenty one fourteen. Just bad execution right there. Bad two minute offense. Um, and so, and so yeah, so there's a lot of different ways to beat all kinds of defenses. You know, there's a way to beat the turbo blitz. There's a way to beat six man double edge pressures. There's a way to beat three man a gaps with slide protect to the right. Uh, you know, there's tons of ways to beat coverage defense, just to name a few. Uh, that so something a lot of people don't really do, do enough. It, that, that's really effective is is uh, light blue routes. <laughs> Look at that little nasty blitz, man. And take him to the crib. That's a that's a great way to start the second half to go up twenty eight, uh, to twenty one. Um, but um, as as I was saying, there's just there's a lot of ways to be coverage defense. My favorite ways are um, there's like a corners and goes play out of uh, out of out of snugs and um, what what is that shotgun formation on New England ace twins some I, I forget what it's called. Um, it's it's kind of like a snugs formation as well. Give me that pick. So I go up 28-21. The game is changing from that that sack fumble touchdown. So I'm, it's looking pretty good right now. Executing a little bit better as as this game is wearing on. Trying to figure out what he's trying to do. And and so then a couple other ways to to beat the blitz that I feel, or the coverage defense is is light blue routes uh, or like delay routes. But my favorite delay route is is like a, a delayed in route. Because a lot of people, you 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 send a lot of like streaks, fades, um, corner routes at them. They're gonna manually cover that. Like let's say they're there in like a cover four base or man, uh, um, and then they're usually guarding the running back. And if, if you're blocking the running back continuously, uh, and you're playing coverage defense, there's just no need to block the running back. You know, uh, you you need to go short. I, I love to use the delay routes. Um, and then another thing is is angle routes, different angle routes. Just, Towards to in between the zones, and then the corners and goes play is an awesome to beat uh, man coverage because uh, they get inside the purple. If someone plays like a two man under and, and put purples on the two defensive ends, you get inside position with both those receivers, and so you, it's just kind of delayed. And they and they're too far apart where 
a manual defender can't guard them both. So so there and so there's just and then a draw play or counters from shotgun is another huge thing or just run the ball. Uh, and then if you have a mobile quarterback, another huge thing if, if someone just has one spy is just to juke the spy and get and get some yardage. So there's a ton of ways to beat coverage defense. It is definitely annoying. It kind of can get really boring. And but there's definitely a way to beat that uh, one throw defense. <laughs> So let's get to the gameplay here. I'm up. I'm up 14 points with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. As y'all can see, things are things are looking good. But he hits me with a screen pass. I wasn't able to click on my defender. Uh, just clicked on just a little bit too late. So he hiked the ball, and I wasn't able able to manually guard that screen route. But everything's all good, right? I'm up seven points, and right here I'm throwing on first down instead of running. Yes, I'm I'm wasting I'm wasting the time, uh, making him call his timeouts. But I'm trying to throw the ball because He's gearing in towards the run. And right here, I hit him with a nice counter play. Do a little oop-de-oop -oop and, uh, and and weave in and get the touchdown. I should probably, I don't know, looking back now, should I have gone down? Probably because a field goal would have made it just a 10-point game. But instead, I decided to uh, take my, take the touchdown and say, I don't think he can score two touchdowns in, in, you know, in a minute. Uh, and... <laughs> And so, so here he goes. I have the blitz per position. Webb's in the perfect spot. I'm pressing Y, and no, no animation. None, no animation. Maybe I, I, yeah, I hit strafe too. Strafe and Y. Man, why do I? Why can I not break the habit of hitting the strafe button? That's just pathetic. And what do you know? He gets the onside kick. Hits me with just a. Oh, I don't even know what the heck route that was. Um, <laughs> it was before it even broke up, and he breaks it to the crib. To tie the ball game up, so within a minute, just co co complete co collapse. That should never happen. So up 14 with the two minutes left, and I just completely blow it. But here I go. I got to get in field goal range. My lineman gets stuck on me. Have to call a timeout. Uh, that wasn't a good play right there, but that's all right. And um, and so now it's it now it's third down, and I throw an interception. Oh my gosh! That the guy that was coming up uh, was blitzing me a little bit right there, and and uh, I was I threw the pick. I got nervous, but my fade right on the left side, which should have been my first read, was wide open in position to uh, to catch the pass, get in field goal range, and, and win the game. So with eight seconds left, he he hits me with an out route, gets in field goal range, and I lose. That is the complete complete collapse this guy sent me a message afterwards like oh my god great this game i'm so excited what is that one blitz you had up the a gap all sorts of stuff <laughs> oh man so that was a bad start the night so then i go up so i'm like all right screw it i'm going with my niners i go up 7-0 sack a guy the first down second down look at patty willis man perfect position for the streak route to get the pick and this is mad and bss finest so then he hits me with a nice route on 39 yeah i probably shouldn't have blitz heavy but what what do you know I don't like playing coverage defense. Uh, hits me with the run in second first, and then second goal, I showed you that. So now it's third down. Hits me with the run again. I stuff it in the backfield. So now it's fourth and goal. He hurries up. No no huddle offense. And so I'm putting, I'm getting some, I have Justin Smith, or uh, Alden Smith in the spy. Uh, the guy manned up, and then look at this position I have on him. And by the way, this is fourth and goal. Look at this position. Boom. I'm right in the yellow circle. <laughs> But that's Madden for real. So I hope y'all enjoyed this game. And I'm taking another L, but I'm coming back with vengeance.